today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a new thing maybe. I want to try this this month at least. I am doing my favorites for June but I am doing it in like a get ready with me using the products I have loved kind of style. I hope it makes sense. So just a little disclaimer in the beginning or maybe two disclaimers or three, I don't know. I call these my favorites. Maybe it's not like my holy grail favorites, but these are products that I have really been liking during this month. And I'm just naming these favorites because it's easier than that. Easier as that. And the other disclaimer, if I say something stupid or if I like get completely lost, it's because it is so freaking warm. I am like... I don't know if I'm going to survive this. <laughs> if I'm going to be lost. But yeah, I think we just get started and this is strange to do this because I like don't know how. And I have actually been thinking about doing like monthly get ready with me's. So maybe this is a good way to do it. Please tell me if you want me to continue with this or if you think I should go back to like my normal monthly videos because those are short and I'm <laughs> trying to put on the eyeshadow primer without a mirror. And this eyeshadow pri primer, I have talked about it in some other favorite videos, I think. And this is still like a super favorite. It's the Milani eyeshadow primer. This is like the best eyeshadow primer I have ever used. So my favorite palette for this month has actually been my palette of the month, the Yulina palette. But I am doing a video that is coming up tomorrow or maybe on Wednesday. This should come up on Monday. A video is coming up on this and I didn't want to do like two videos in a row with this one. Stupid idea, I know. So I'm just taking some other lethal shades that I have. I ordered, they released their off the dark today. I ordered it on the palette and I picked out these five shades because I wanted to do something green today. And I think this is Vertex. Void Eden Aether Author. I can write it down here. And this is Arsenic. So I'm using these today and doing like a green look and just talk to you a little bit. And then I'm going to do my foundation. How will I survive with a foundation on my face? I don't know. And then I'm going to do my highlighter and the blush with you. And <laughs> if you're wondering why I have my hair up. I think I've talked about this in my latest Get Ready With Me. I don't like to have my hair up in videos, but it's so hot and I have swim in the ocean, which is salt water, so my hair is like a mess. And I was like, am I going to shower before this and wash my hair? No, <laughs> because it's going to be so warm. And if you didn't know this, in Sweden, we don't have like that much AC. It's in like, or air conditioning, you may say in English. Um, it is in like stores and stuff like that, but in people's homes, no. We have like warm weather for two months, a year, so. And I am not built for this heat. It's around. I think it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like around 30, 32 degrees Celsius in Sweden right now. And my like comfort zone is around 70 degrees. I do not do well with warm weather. Simple as that. We were on Iceland last summer. No, two years ago. I don't know, we were to Iceland and if there's any country that I'm going to, if I ever going to move out of Sweden, I am going to live in on Iceland because that was like the perfect, when it was warm, it was perfect for me. It was like 
below 20 degrees Celsius, so maybe around 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It was like the best vacation ever. And oh my god, it's so free. And the two studio lights. It's a struggle, I tell you. And I had my fan on before, but I think... I think it makes too much sound. So today I have been... <laughs> I told my boyfriend like, we are going to a mall because I need some... N not to be sticky and we don't have any restrictions in Sweden. Or we have... We have, but not like in the rest of the world. We can still go to malls, we can still... everything is still open. We can't be too many at the same place and stuff like that, but we can still go to the mall and I just wanted to go there <laughs> to be cold. Then we swim in the ocean and it is so... I just like want to live in the ocean, but at the same time I don't like people. I don't like to be around people, I don't like people that much. And it's so many people at the beach. Uh, so I don't want to be there too long either. So I do not... I, I just want to go back to work. Because we have air conditioned at work. And I mostly wanted to do a green because it's going to go so good together with my favorite lipstick of this month. So maybe some of you know what kind of lipstick I have been loving this month and now I'm going in I'm going to do all shimmer lid maybe I should start with the lightest one now I start with the darkest one and I love lethals shimmers and I feel like it's the same formula in the Yulina palette as their singles and I can also talk a little bit, bit about another favorite I have had now when it is summer and I have a very sensitive skin to the sun. I never get tanned. I only get like red or pink and then I go back to being pale again. So I need like SPF 50. It's I think it's the most that you can get in Sweden and I am normally not outside before 6 p.m. because I it's like my body and my mind stop works when it's too hot it's like shutting off so I have actually bought a new sunscreen this year I if you are like me when I was little, I grew up with being sticky all summer because I had to have SPF on my whole body, like through May to September. And when I was little, like sunscreen wasn't something that was good. It was just sticky, you like got white marks on your body. You look like you have like put on yogurt or something. It was not good and I have always like hated sunscreen. But now the last couple of years there is actually, because it's so popular to use SPF now than it was when I was younger. So now it's just really like evolved. And I have bought this this year and this is the Claire's soft airy uv essence everyday sun protection it has spf 50 it's vegan friendly it's i really like it it's a korean brand and they are really like ahead with skincare than we are so it's really lightweight and it feels really good so i've actually been liking that really much so that has definitely been a favorite now during June and it's going to be a favorite the whole summer for me because I'm going to need it the whole summer. 
And yes, I know that you are supposed to use sunscreen all year round. Uh, I do not do that because I just don't. Shoot me. I think that is like... Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't care if you use sunscreen all year round. You can do it if you want to. I like only feel like it's now the last maybe two years that people have discovered sunscreen and have like a little bit of like anxiety that they haven't used it like at all before. So now they are like, you have to use it all the time. I use it all the time, all year round, all year round, every day, every time, every night. And I'm like, take a chill. Maybe it's just me, but like that is the feeling I have. But maybe it's because my whole life I have spent with sunscreen. And I <laughs> I remember when when I was like we were in the US on a vacation and we were in Florida. I don't remember. I, I think we were in Miami. I don't know. I was four year old. Four years old. But we have like a picture with me and my brother and he's like sitting in a baseball cap and like a t-shirt and shorts. I had like a long sleeve, long <laughs> joggers, like a baseball cap and it looks like I want to die. It's like the sweat is all over my face and I'm like, it seems like I'm crying. <laughs> you can really like see the pain in my face. And my brother is like all happy because he is not sensitive to the sun as I am, so yeah. That is like a good how my childhood was. Okay, I'm actually done with the eyes and it feels like I'm on a really good mood today. It feels like a little bit strange for me to do a get red with me in a good mood. So maybe if you wanted to come here to see like a short favorite video, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to take away the fallouts. I'm going to put on my foundation. I have to have some light foundation. I'm wondering what I will take. Because I don't have like a specific foundation that I have really been loving this month. So I'm going to do that, put on a concealer and some powder. But then we can do, I have one eyebrow product that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you blush, highlighter and contour. So yeah, I will just fix this and then we will continue. Okay, so I thought we can start with the things that I've been liking for my eyebrows now in June. And it is this NYX uh, tinted brown mascara and I have it in blonde, yeah. But I actually think that I want to buy this, if I'm going to buy this again, which might happen because I really like it. I think I will buy a like a little bit darker color. And I think this holds the brow really good and I think it's also give like... Make them look like maybe a little bit more natural. I don't know, if we compare this I think this brow looks a little bit better. It likes give a little bit of dimension to the brows. So now to my base. My I have start to use this baked uh, matte bronzer baked matte bronzer stick in baked <laughs> milk. I like this. I just want another brush. I have a brush that is on the way home to me. Um, from uh, I ordered Beach Cosmetics angled contour brush that I know a lot of people like together with this. It hasn't arrived yet. I hope it will come on like Monday or something. But I think I would like it more with a better brush. But now I just because I don't want to take this on my face because I don't want too much. So I take this and. Just like with a light little hand and I, if you have been here before, I don't use that much contour and now I got like a loads down here. I hate to do my face on camera and this is why. I 
I guess we just have to live with it. So it's just a brush. I I like the product, but I want a better brush for it. And I really hope that that... I think it's the V3 or something. But I f really think this works good because I was so afraid it was going to be like too warm because it is a bronzer stick, but... I know a lot of people that use it as a contour and I think it works really good and I... I like it. I never will buy the big one though, but this Mina size, it's a good size. Okay, and then we can go with the blush. And I have, like, been loving this blush so much. It's the Moon Prism Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty. First of all, like, the packaging. Like, Lunar Beauty does my absolute favorite packaging right now, I feel like. It's just a stunning packaging and... The palette looks like this and I, when I saw it on pictures, I like was, <laughs> I want that. And then I got it home and it was like even better than the pictures. I have really been liking this Twilight. I haven't used this Gravity because it is going to be too dark for me as a blush. But I have used Spacey, I have used Twilight, I have used Stargaze. I have mixed... I used Pink Moon as well. Did I mix these two? I don't know, but I'm thinking actually I'm using Stargaze today because it is my absolute favorite in this palette. And I just really love this. I didn't know I was going to like it as much as I do, but... It's almost like if I can only keep one blush, it's going to be this one. And now I really hope. <sighs> okay, so now I don't know because I used my serum foundation from The Ordinary today because I don't need to set this. But because it is so warm, I don't know how the blush will lay on top of my st still sticky base. You know what? We will just try it. So I take a stargaze. And this is pretty pigmented. And I watched Amy's video about this earlier today. And she also liked it. And she pointed out, and I also think about this, that... I think this is a really good, like, blush, blush palette. <sighs> I like blush palettes, but it's like, I can't use all the shades for a blush, and people with deeper skin tone can't use all as a blush. So that I, I think it's good that it is, like, something for everybody, but at the same time, it's like I'm buying a blush palette, and I can't use all the shades, and... Somebody with deeper skin tone can't use all the shades either. Not as blushes at least. So that annoys me a little bit. But I still like that it is workable for more than like light skin tones. I just really like it. It's a really dark blush. But I... It just is... It's so good. If you're going to buy some blushes this year buy this one it's it's amazing it is amazing for my highlight those I have been really liking it's the highlight from Lion Crime it's in opals and I have used all the shades I think yes I don't know which one of them I like the most I think it's maybe this one but I'm thinking of using the gold one today I think that works Will look good. And it was actually Jessica that made me buy this because she has talked about these so much. And I really think that they are like. They lay really good on the skin and they are so easy to work out. Okay, so now I'm just going to spritz my face with the Bear With Me. Setting spray, or it's a primer set refresh spray from NYX. I haven't used this so much because it's 
so new to me, but I think I really do like it. It's not a favorite for this month, but I really like it. And I also used this as a primer today, and it works really good. That I think though this might is discontinued. I don't know because I bought it on sale and I haven't seen it at so much places. So I'm thinking to buy up some more maybe because I think it's it's really good and I think I'm going to like it like really much during a long period of time. So I I don't know. So maybe it is a favorite then. So time for my under eyes and I will stick with the things I have on my lid. It's going to be fun to see what you think about this get red with me favorites. It is going to be such a long video I think but I really like to do get red with me's and you seem to really like them and it's not often that I I don't know what I'm trying to say even. I like don't know what to always talk about in my favorite videos, no, in my get ready with me's. So I thought like maybe this is a really good idea to do it all in once. I will at least try this month and you are more than welcome to tell me in the comments what you think. And I hope that next month if I'm going to do this that it's not going to be so warm. I like can't understand how people can think that this is like something nice. And like in Sweden because we just have summer for like two maybe three months a year. People are like you can't complain about the heat. And I'm like but I don't even want it from the start. So I can complain how much ever I want to. And I guess for like people that don't live I think Sweden and like other countries in the northern hemisphere we have different seasons we have four different seasons and it's not the normal thing to have I guess in the world but it's like the thing that I am used to I am used to having four seasons and I am that kind of person that really likes it. I know a lot of people doesn't do it, but I really like it because if it would be this warm all year round, I would surrender. But maybe I wouldn't be that sensitive. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to pop a teaspoon from Colourpop in my wash line. I'm going to put on my mascara and then we're going into the last favorite for this video. So the lipstick. So for my lips, if you have ever seen me do a green eye look, I think you know what kind of lipstick I'm going to take because I always do the same colors on my lip when I do a green look, I at least think. I am of course taking a red and a red that I've been really loving this month is the Unspoken from Nabla. This is new to my collection, I haven't had it for so long, maybe like two weeks or something. I have been loving this. I love Nabla's formula and this color. I love the Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star. Uh, I think I'm going to run out of it. It's like going to be the first liquid lipstick I run out of because I love it so so much and I use it like all the time. And I wanted to find a dupe for that because I, I don't know if I support Jeffree Star or not. Maybe I don't care, I don't know, but if I can find something else I rather do that so this was like in my hunt for a dupe and this is a pretty good dupe this is a little bit darker and I actually think I like that more so I'm going to put this on and I will fail with this because it feels like I always failing when I put on lipstick on camera so maybe I will hide my lips The only thing I feel with this is I have I even have nine liquid lipsticks from Nabla and the only thing I feel with this is with all the others I can do my whole lip in like one swoop I don't need to a double dip take more color but with this one I have like finishing off this half of my upper lip it's not a biggie I don't really care I 
I just love this color. I love it so much. So yeah, that was all of my favorites I have had for June. And please tell me if you like this Get Ready With Me favorites videos. It feels like it is going to be so long and now I just want to shut off the studio lights, put the fan on and be able to breathe again. I really hope you like this and please let me know if you want me to continue to do this or if I should go back to my normal favorite videos. I also like, I'm thinking about that I want to do a get ready with me every month, at least once a month because I like to talk to you and every time I do get read with me it feels like people can like <sighs> are like going through the same things, have the same thoughts and that feels good for me that I'm not alone and I guess it feels good for you as well. So yeah, please let me know what you think about this. I if you like it I would happily continue to do this if you don't i will do my normal favorite videos and then just do get ready with me but now i just compare combined the two so yeah i really hope you like this video and i'm going to start start to talk stop to talk because it's like my brain is melting away <laughs> So I really hope you like this video and if you don't subscribe to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!